Hey, I'm Alicia, and I'm one of the vloggers on Teenagers for Important Topics. Today, I'm going to be identifying the key issues in the Libino case, which is a case me and my fellow vlogger Simona have explained in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out on our channel. So, some key issues that the case in the case that are positives of the Youth Criminal Justice Act definitely include the fact that the murderer was under the age of 12 was never identified to the public. This allows the young boy to easily be integrated back into society. Next, the boy who was clearly too young to know any better got a chance to serve his punishment without being treated like a criminal, and also without feeling demoralized. This allows the boy to understand right from wrong, but also get a chance to change his life. Due to the YCGA, the murderer now has a chance to redeem himself for his mistakes and become a better person. This is why the YCJA is very needed in our society, as opposed to simply trying them in adult court. It gives them a chance to move on and become better people. Thanks for watching, and please remember to check out the rest of the videos on the Leap and no case and our opinions as teenage vloggers on important topics. Thanks again!